The greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American tourist public is in rural Wisconsin, and it's wonderful. When I was about 12 years old, my parents took me on a road trip through the Midwest, and we saw a lot of amazing places, but there was one that lodged itself in my imagination. To this day, one of the greatest places I have ever been. It's the House on the Rock. What makes the House on the Rock so great? Well, let me throw a few things at you. It's got the world's largest carousel indoors. It has got a sculpture of a squid fighting a whale that is larger than the Statue of Liberty. There is a room dedicated to nothing but organs and brewery parts. An enormous collection of antique armor, a collection of antique guns, cars, hot air balloons, an infinite room, a collection of self-playing instruments. There is an entire recreation of a 1900s cobblestone street. The entire place is just a mind-tripping brain warp. The story goes that when the creator, Alex Jordan Jr., was a kid, him and his father went to see Frank Lloyd Wright. And his father presented Frank Lloyd Wright with a set of architectural designs. Uh, and Frank Lloyd Wright said, I would not hire you to build a cheese crate or a chicken coop. And the son said, I'm gonna grow up and I'm going to build a house that will spite Frank Lloyd Wright. And that's what he did. He started building on this, on this rock, elaborating in this sort of Frank Lloyd Wright style, but with its own weird twist, and then just accumulating collection after collection. That's the story. So there are some reasons to doubt the authenticity of this Frank Lloyd Wright story. One, Frank Lloyd Wright was in Japan. Two, the supposed architectural designs submitted by his father were for a building that was actually built by a different architect. Three, uh, the single source for this story, Sid Boyum, who helped build uh, the House on the Rock, won the World Championship Liar Contest in 1976, making the entire thing a little bit hard to believe. Secondly, the house's collections are completely fake. They, they made the antique armor. They made the antique guns. The mechanical self-playing instruments uh, don't actually play. They move and, they, and sound is produced, but the sound is not being produced necessarily by the instruments. Everything is fake. Even though it's not real, it is in fact an incredible expression of Alex Jordan's bizarre mind and artistic pursuit. And so while it may be one of the greatest hoaxes ever perpetrated on the American tourist public, it is also one of the greatest works of installation art ever created. And that is why I love it. Click here to subscribe or click here to watch our other videos. And on Christmas, they fill it with Santa Clauses. They, they have like, they have like 12,000 Santa Clauses and they just put them everywhere. And it makes something that's already insane even crazier. Neil Gaiman wrote about it in American Gods. If you ever get a chance, you should really go. Uh, not, don't expect real stuff. Just expect the greatest time of your life. What do you think uh, the world's greatest hidden wonders are? Uh, let me know in the comments and I can't wait to hear all about them.